don't let it get to you. Don't let it get to you. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. You know, one time I was talking to Grandma, and I said, Grandma, it's just kind of driving me crazy. And she said, don't let it get to you. She said, you know, if you let things get to you, your whole life is just going to be one kind of spinning around mess. She said, people let everything get to them. And she said, most things work themselves out. And even the things that don't work themselves out often can take time to work out. And if we get ourselves in what she called a tizzy, um, which is kind of like being dizzy, uh, she said, it's not a good thing to do. And so I believe in what grandma said. I, I think people can get so caught up into so many things that it can just, you know, they begin to worry about things and they begin to fret and they begin to uh, totally focus on what's going wrong all the time rather than what's going right. Some things are out of our control and some things are within our control. The things that are even within our control sometimes can take time to work out, time to work through. Sometimes we have to let them work through on their own. And yet some people get so upset and so involved in so many different things that their life is just one big chaotic mess. And so I believe that sometimes we have to let things work out and often many things will work themselves out. And the things that we need to work out, then we identify and we have to decide how to work them out and what takes priority. And yet we have to remember that there's good things occurring in our life that we don't want to miss out on as well. And so things can happen in life. Life happens. Things happen. Events happen, small or bigger or whatever, throughout one's entire life. And so we can either let it rattle us or we can stay calm about it and get through it. You know, we can't control everything, like I said. Some things we can, some things we can't, but we can try our very best to not let things rattle us and to stay calm and to stay peaceful and to do our very best. From my house to yours, may God bless you and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.